In this video we're going to look at inequalities and the graphical type of questions where you're asked to shade in particular regions to satisfy multiple inequalities. So let's have a look at a typical example. And before you look at this I would recommend you have uh, that you've uh, made sure that you've watched the two videos on inequalities, um, graphical inequalities, part one and part two. So here we've got a typical question. So again, as I said again, make sure you watch the video on graphical inequalities part one and two because that will explain how I've, I'm going to do some of the steps. So it says on the grid, uh, draw lines to find the regions satisfied by the three inequalities. Y is bigger than two, Y is less than X plus one, and X plus Y is less than five. So let's start off with X is bigger or Y is bigger than two. So Y is bigger than two. Draw the graph Y equals two. You'll remember that from the other video. So draw the line Y equals two. Um, y equals two. And because it is just a bigger than and it hasn't got the equal to sign, it's going to be a broken line like so. Okay. Let's just choose a coordinate here. Okay. Uh, so it says Y is bigger than two. So this is the coordinate one one. So the Y part's one, and one's not bigger than two. So this part is not in the region, and obviously Y the height is bigger than two will be this region here. Now in these types of questions, I personally like to shade in like this, the part that is not going to be. Okay. In the previous video, I would have shaded in this whole region here, but because you're going to do multiple um, inequalities, if you shaded in this whole region, then you would draw another line, shade in another region, and you would have to look for the three regions that it would be shaded, you know, on top of each other. So I find it easier if you just shade in like that. You're going to discard that region. And that means that this region here satisfies this inequality. Okay, the next one. Y is less than x plus one. So draw a little x y table, and we're going to draw the graph y equals x plus 1 and x and y 0 1 2 so y is equal to x plus 1 so we're going to add 1 so we're going to get 1 2 and 3 and we're going to plot these points so 0 1 to so there 1 2 there and 2 3 there now because this is just less than it's not going to be it's going to be a broken line okay so we're going to draw a nice broken line through these points like so. Okay. Uh, again, let's choose a coordinate. So let's choose the coordinate. Um, you can choose any coordinate. Let's choose one four. Okay. So this is the coordinate one four there. So one four. And we're going to test it in the inequality y is less than x plus one. So this is x and this is y. So y is four and it's going to be less than. Um, x 1 plus 1 which is 2 so 4 is less than 2 well that doesn't work so this part here is in the incorrect or this inequality here or this coordinate here does not satisfy the inequality so we're going to discard this region and we're going to keep this region so discard this thing here okay so you'll see that now we're left with this section here last inequality x plus y is less than 5 so Let's uh, we're going to draw the graph x plus y equals 5. Um, I'm just going to make y the subject, so I'm going to take away x. So we get y equals 5 minus x. So let's draw this graph here, this y equals 5 minus x. So x, y table, x and y, 0, 1, 2. So y is equal to 5 take away the x number. So 5 take away 0 is 5. 5 take away 1 is 4. 5 take away 2 is 3. So 0, 5. 1, 4, and 2, 3. And because it's just less than, we're going to draw a broken line through these points. And actually, you can get to, I've got a suspicion this is going to be the region here. So let's choose a coordinate. Let's choose this one here, 3, 3. And let's test it in the inequality x plus y is less than 5. So 3, 3, this coordinate would be 3 plus 3 is less than 5. Less than 5, I'm automatically crossing because it's wrong. Uh, 6 is less than 5. Well, that's not true. So this is in the region that doesn't work. And this region here, anywhere here, would work for that inequality. So we're going to discard this side. And we've been left with this region here. And it says, label this region with an R. So just put an R in there. And then this region here would be the region which I'm just going to shade it in, actually. This region here would be the region that would satisfy all three inequalities.